cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey everyone, I wanted to make a quick video on a few shows you can try watching if you are needing to escape reality now that Game of Thrones is in its off season. So here's a list of some that I've been watching and a couple that are coming up in my queue. Let's get into it. Rome, a former HBO series, was a two season show that chronicles the lives and deeds of the rich, powerful and historically significant, but also focuses on the lives, fortunes, families and acquaintances of two common men. There's only 22 episodes total, but from what I've heard, the drama and betrayal is high in the series, allowing for much nail-biting and marathon watching. This one is next on my list to watch. I believe you can view the show on HBO Go still, and also Amazon On Demand. The next show I recommend is Vikings. Vikings is a good action TV series that's similar to Game of Thrones. It follows a farmer named Ragnar Lothbrok, who is one of the best known legendary Norse heroes and notorious as the scourge of England and France. The show starts with Ragnar as a farmer who rises to fame by successful raids into England, and he eventually becomes a Scandinavian king with the support of his family and fellow warriors. Vikings is available to watch on the History Channel website, and for the US I believe it's free. For Canada and Europe, you may have to connect your cable provider to the website to stream it. Obviously, for any of the shows I mentioned, your location is the overall factor in determining the source for viewing, so look up the shows you want to watch and try to find the best deal in your area. The next show is The Tudors. The Tudors is a great show to watch on Netflix. It has four seasons and it follows the rule and reign of King Henry VIII of England. Much like Game of Thrones, the show lives and dies with the obsession of power and the characters who really run things behind the scenes. Also, if you are upset about Marjorie Tyrell's recent death in season 6, the actress who portrays her, Natalie Dormer, plays one of the leads, Anne Boleyn, and it was this role that helped her land the gig for Marjorie, so feel free to check it out. The next show I recommend is the Spartacus series. Now, Spartacus has four total seasons that you can watch on Netflix, and it was inspired by a Thracian gladiator who led a major slave uprising against the Roman Republic departing from Capua. While this show is all about gladiators and is not fantasy, if you want blood and gore and non-stop action, this is the series for you. The last show I want to mention has nothing to do with renaissance or fantasy, but I feel if you appreciate great script writing and excellent drama, you should check out True Detective. True Detective is also an HBO series, and it has two seasons. To be honest, I haven't finished the second season, mostly because I felt bored of the storyline. Both seasons are completely unique from each other, and they feature different casts. The first season had two leads, Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. It takes place in Louisiana, and it follows a pair of Louisiana State Police homicide detectives and their pursuit of a serial killer over a 17-year period. Honestly, one of the best seasons of any show I've ever watched. The second season stars Vince Vaughn and Colin Farrell, and it's set in California. It focuses on three detectives from three cooperating police departments and a criminal-turned-businessman as they investigate a series of crimes they believed are linked to the murder of a corrupt politician. I really recommend season one for sure, and who knows, you may enjoy season two as well. You can watch it on HBO Now and HBO Go. Anyways, that was my short list of what I am watching and re-watching right now to bide what time I have free at the moment. Let me know in the comments what shows you suggest watching. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I will see you tomorrow.